So you just built your nice new fancy PC and you turned it on and hopefully it all powered up like you expected. Um, what you gotta do now is you gotta install Windows. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows and all you need is a USB flash drive. Make sure it's at least eight gigabytes or it's not gonna work. You need yourself another computer with internet access. So you can download the tool to this USB flash drive that we'll use to plug it in and then get Windows installed. So let's do this. So this USB flash drive needs to be at least eight gigabytes for it to work. And I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description. So if you need one, go ahead and pick it up. Um, and I would recommend get all the data off of it. So if you need to format it, or you know when you download the media creation tool that all the information is off of it, nice and blank for this one purpose. So you can go ahead and take your USB flash drive, slap it out into your working computer with internet access. Whoa, bam. Yeah. No, no, yes, no. So you can open up a browser and go search for media creation tool and then choose the download Windows 10 disk image from here and you're going to create Windows 10 installation media. So download the tool now. So you're going to go ahead and save that anywhere I save this to the downloads. So let's go ahead and save that here and let's go ahead and run that. Getting a few things ready. Go ahead and accept. You're going to go ahead and read through this. Speed read, speed read, speed read, accept. And we want to select create installation media USB flash drive. Next. So we'll go ahead and leave the defaults because most of the time, 2021, I would say 99% of the time, the architecture is going to be a 64 bit computer. Uh, but the way you can check is you can go ahead and go in here and um, you can go ahead and uh, right click on this PC properties. And then you can go ahead and see system type 64 bit operating system. Um, you're gonna probably use that um, the majority of the time, very rare uh, nowadays that you're gonna have a 32-bit. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit next, and we're gonna go ahead and want a USB flash drive. See, it says it needs to be at least eight gigs. Hit next, um, we're gonna wanna go ahead and use this removable. It already senses the USB flash drive uh, that I plugged in, so go ahead and hit next. It's very important you actually check, make sure you're not gonna uh, overwrite uh, on another USB flash drive if you have another one plugged in. Make sure you choose the right one that you have that you want to use for this. Boom, my USB flash drive is ready. Click finish. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, looks like we have everything here. It looks like our, all our files are now on the USB flash drive. So let's go ahead and take it out. Let's plug it into the computer that we just built. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to take your USB flash drive and you're gonna go ahead and plug it in uh, along with the mouse, keyboard, and the monitor so you can actually see something. Ah, got me again. This is USB sticks. And then go ahead and power it on. Now once you turn on your computer, uh, if you don't have a hard drive or if you don't have Windows 10 already installed on the hard drive that you installed in your new build, then it's gonna automatically, it's gonna use the force and it's gonna know that it's gonna boot from this USB flash drive right here. And so it will automatically go into a Windows setup. Now if you already had Windows installed on here and uh, you just wanna maybe like uh, format and uh, start with a brand new installation or upgrade to Windows 10 or whatever. You'll see that little splash screen that just came up. That's your BIOS. There's a boot priority to basically boot from USB. And that's what I just hit. The F12, you can see a little flash screen. Now I'm gonna be quick because these uh, new hard drives are pretty quick to start up. So I hit F12. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose which boot device is first. And so right now, we just wanna go ahead and we want to do, this is my um, USB flash drive right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. If I already had Windows 10 installed, I'm gonna boot from the USB flash drive. So this is a uh, different, this motherboard is an Aorus motherboard. So your motherboard, whether it be Asus, uh, you know, Gigabyte, MSI, they might be different. So take a look at your manual to see how you get into BIOS, change the boot priority, or if it has a key, that says, you know, hit F12 to change the boot priority to boot from the USB device. All right, so now let's run through uh, the Windows setup here. So we wanna keep the defaults uh, here and um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install now. And then if I have a Windows key already, I would put it in here. Uh, although this is the free version, so we're not gonna activate Windows. Uh, there's gonna be a couple limitations when you don't activate Windows and we'll get into that later. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and click, I don't have a product key. 
And then I recommend just choosing the Windows 10 Pro if you're using it at home, Windows 10 Pro. And then uh, go ahead and speed read this, make sure you memorize it um, because you're gonna need to uh, pass a quiz at the end. So we'll go ahead and accept that, hit next. And then we don't want an upgrade. That's already if you have an existing Windows 10 install. Um, we want to go ahead and we want to install Windows only. Since I only have one hard drive in here, uh, we're only going to select that one. Um, if you have multiple hard drives in here, make sure you remember uh, what hard drive you actually want to install Windows on. If you have an SSD, an NVMe, or a hard, spinning hard drive, um, make sure you install it on the correct hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and choose the drive zero and we're going to go ahead and hit next and it's going to run through and copy other windows files and getting files ready for installation so let's go ahead and let it install windows let it do its thing and it's running through everything so it's going to reboot that's fine it's going to come back on automatically so just go ahead and let it do its thing and let it reboot Sometimes if it reboots, it may read from the USB flash drive again and try and install it again. Uh, and if that happens again, just go ahead and remove the USB flash drive, turn it off, turn it back on. It's okay, it will just boot right up to Windows and it will go through the install again. Choose your region and then go ahead and wait. Uh, right keyboard layout, correct. Add a second keyboard layout, nope. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to a network, uh, I plugged in an ethernet cable. Uh, you can also connect up to your wireless if your computer is not able to connect to the ethernet cable and plug in directly to wireless router or your modem. If you're connecting wireless, choose that. Uh, but I plugged in my ethernet right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect that. I'm setting this up for personal use. Next and then add your account. So you can put your existing Microsoft account in there or you can go ahead and create one or you can just click that uh, offline account. Here wants you to create a pin to log into Windows and I do that so go ahead and create a pin. And then the privacy settings, I usually turn all this stuff off. You can customize your device here but I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. Use your phone from your PC, skip. OneDrive, let's just go ahead, I'm not gonna worry about this right now, save files to this PC but you can go ahead and save to OneDrive which is in the cloud, save your files to the cloud. Skip that. And then Cortana, you can go ahead and do voice control on here. I'm not gonna worry about that now. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit not now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, run through everything and get everything all set up. So once it's done setting everything up, it's gonna display the desktop here. And you have about 30 days to activate it if you want. If you wanna keep rolling with the free windows, uh, then you're gonna go ahead and uh, get a watermark in the lower right hand corner that says activate windows. It's also gonna limit you to some other things like themes, uh, not being able to change the background wallpaper. Uh, you only get the, like the generic Windows 10 wallpaper. And then um, some like fonts, colors, and um, lock screen and stuff. So if you're fine with that, uh, keep rolling with the uh, free windows. Uh, or activate it if you want to unlock the full capability. If you like this video, we do full PC gaming setups, we do PC builds, gaming benchmarks, how-to videos on installing actually motherboard software, drivers, gaming benchmarks, and all that stuff. So uh, feel free before you leave, go ahead and hit the subscribe button with the bell notification, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.